guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is Courtney and welcome today I am so excited because I've been waiting an entire month for this special package to arrive and it finally came today well it came yesterday but I had to pick it up from the office place thingy yeah you know what I mean anyways I'm really really excited to be finally sitting down and filming this and before we get started please hit that subscription button down below really appreciate it and hit that like button and put the notification bell on so you don't miss any one of my videos so without further ado let's get into the video as I said I have been waiting an entire month for this little package to arrive and it is here this brown thing as you can see I've opened it because I am too impatient to wait to see exactly what's in there so I had a little bit of a nosy and it is you can't really see there's Chinese writing on that I can't turn around to the other thing because it has my address <laughs> and I did buy this oh yeah you can see that there Japan I bought it on Amazon I was a bit too chicken to buy it off of eBay <laughs> you never know with eBay and it has taken a month I well almost a month and it was $7.99 on Amazon for 20 pieces of Japanese snacks <sighs> I was so excited so I'm gonna be trying out some Japanese different snacks I'm not the biggest fussiest eater in the world I like trying new things I love trying new things if I'm honest and Japan is somewhere that I've been dying to go to and Last year, we planned to go this year in May over to Tokyo to go to Disneyland over there and explore Tokyo. However, that fell through, so I had to because I, I was looking forward to trying all the food over there because I do like Japanese food. Um, when I was looking for the boxes and which I wanted to get, I found one that had a squid on it. So I don't know if it's in here, if it is in there. Ask me interesting because I'm not great with that type of seafood stuff. Yeah, so let's get into it. Ooh, I seen these and I was like, okay, that's good. There's no instructions whatsoever or descriptions. And by the looks of it, without going too much into it, they're all in Japanese. Yeah. All right, well, so we're going to start at the top, go into something savory, and it is, it says Morokoshi wa Taro, and it's got these little corn people painting, so they painted their crisps, or trips, wherever you're from. <laughs> so, I'm guessing they're just like corn chips. Let's take a look. Yeah, I smell it. Okay. Oh my god. It like melts in your mouth. <laughs> yeah, it melts in your mouth. There's something that I've had back at home in America. Kind of tastes like this. It's got a bit of a powdery bit to it. And it just tastes like a corn puff, if I'm honest. Pirate's booty. It tastes like pirate's booty. Oh, da. Pirate's booty. That's what it tastes like. And pirate's booty is one of my favorite things. I'm going to rate these. I'm going to rate these literally 10 out of 10. Because that was so good. I'm going high straight off the bat. That was so good. So I don't get too full yet. I'm going to place these down so I quickly looked I don't want to see all the description but I literally have six of these little stick thingies and I said one has a corn on it one looks like it's kicking and I'll describe it one go through it so I don't know if I want to try that or go with a sweet thing yet. let's go with something sweet so I got this little I'm guessing milk chocolate because there's cow on it this is milk on it excuse my minky nail it really like ripped off <laughs> and it is really taped in there oh I forgot to say I was reading my horoscope today and I went to health Ooh, that's chocolate that's pure chocolate 
Anyways, it was saying don't try any new foods. Well, I'm trying new foods. This is chocolate. Yeah, it's chocolate. Mmm, that's a good chocolate. Very creamy. For some reason, I put a bit of a tingle to my mouth. But it's just chocolate. Aftertaste is not good. Nope. I'll give that a 5 out of 10 because it's really good to start with. That aftertaste is horrible. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So let's go with one of the sticks now. Let's go for this one. Does it say anything on it? Absolute no English on any of these. And it's this little guy, which is on all of them, and he's pogoing. I'm not sure what to expect from it. There's a little robo dog too. How cute. Aww. Okay. Ooh. Well, it's like little specks on it. Green specks. Maybe it's gonna taste herby. Herby delicious. It's gonna be a corn snack, I know that. Another little puff. Ah! Come on. Right. negative one definitely corn puff and a bit of fishy taste to it and get something I can't even describe mm -mm. that's gross I'm gonna have one of these now because maybe this will help get rid of that that was gross we are gonna have one of these because they look like little Mentos mints and there's three in there we'll do like the packaging they look really cute little duckies I need to get in this quick. Let's see if I can open it without opening the other ones. Oh, it does. Tear, share. Share, tear. Tear and share. That's it. Yeah, it looks like little mento stingies. Doesn't smell like a mento. Okay. Mmm, it's definitely not mint. It's like fruity. There's two in there. Eh. Not mint. Mm -mm. It's like sherbet. We have something like this. Sherbet. <laughs> That's really good. I'm gonna give that 7 out of 10. It's really sweet. I like that. That was good. So this guy is back again, but he's singing. Doing his little dance. Probably tricking you, thinking, yeah. Let's look so fun, and I probably taste gross. He's even got the sunflowers a little jigging around, so is it gonna be a party in my mouth? Maybe? Ooh, it's, this one's red. It smells really cheesy. Let's get into that one. Good luck. That's a cheese puff. That's like better than a cheese puff. I like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like how it melts in your mouth. I'm giving that eight and a half out of ten. Going for another sweet one. Because it looks cute. Packaging is that. And then it's a little cake. It like, looks like it has like milk chocolate, white chocolate, and like white chocolate flavored strawberry, maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't read Japanese, so I have no idea. Ooh. Hello. Mmm. Mm -hmm. It tasted like a Napoleon ice cream. Obviously not ice cream, just in a chocolate little thingy. But definitely a Napoleon ice cream. I'm giving that a 9 out of 10. <laughs> that was really good. I wish I saved that for last. Mm. Let's go back to these fun little guys. Because we got a lot of them. Let's do this one. It looks like he's having like spaghetti on meatballs and there's a chicken flying off his head. Don't know why a chicken flying off his head. It's gonna be tasted like chicken, chicken teriyaki maybe. I'm gonna think 
it tastes like chicken teriyaki. I'm not too sure. Yeah! Oh, I should read Japanese. Even though, yeah, I'm just guessing for the picture. That's all. It smells like teriyaki. It looks like that. I'm, I'm excited. I hope this doesn't let me down. Don't let me down. I love teriyaki chicken so much. I'm a bit of a foodie, so. <laughs> okay. really good. Not chicken teriyaki. It smells like it. Tastes like curry. I love chicken curry. I'll give it about an 8 out of 10. Let's have a punch in my mouth. Why not? So this guy looks very angry and our same little friend there. Dog? Seal? Something? <gasps> oh, I hope I'm not eating seal. No, it's a character. It has to be. It's gotta be. He's fighting a little man. A weird little man. So I'm gonna think, take a, yeah it says risk. It does say risk on it jump in there and say it's gonna be spicy. Ugh, look at that. Just from the top. It smells like my butt. Okay. Oh, I'm not looking forward to trying this one. Oh, my gag reflex is just really coming out. No, it's burp. Okay. Not spicy. Not spicy one bit. Oh my god. I have to say, out of all these, so far, these two are my favorite. There's almost like a meaty taste to it. Very nice. Very nice. Let's get another one out of these way. So these are done. Our little friend retire after this. Next one is a little monkey on our little friend riding a unicycle on a tightrope. So it's a little circus, I guess. One in my mouth. Freaking laughing. Does that have laughing gas in it? Smells like nothing. Maybe it's gonna be cheese again. A bit of herb. Okay. Hmm. Nice, I do like them. Not that wow pack. Oh, sorry. 10 out of 10. Eight out of 10. So let's say goodbye to our little friend. Bye-bye. The last one. He is putting the corn to sleep. He's putting the corn to sleep. We're probably best for leaving this one last. I made her sleep with all this corn. Okay. Not corn chip. Not corn. That was very corny. <laughs> Don't mind corn. It tastes like sweet corn. I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10. That's very corny. Just like some of my jokes are. Now, the next thing I wanna try. So let's try these. Wham! Because that's what it feels it's giving me. Wham! He's gonna punch my mouth off. It, it looks, he sounds like Pop Rocks. Probably is Pop Rocks, but they look a bit harder. <gasps> it smells like alcohol. <laughs> it smells like straight up alcohol. Shots. You see that? I mean, it's not all one little thing. All right, let's do this. Let's put it in my hand. Like little crystals and then little pills down the hatch. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> oh. It makes it worse when you crunch. I want to have some more of that. That's quite fun. I like that. My kids love that. Bought it in my mouth. Bought it in my mouth. Okay, I'm giving these a nine and a half out of ten. Didn't know for sure if I liked them at first, but. There's a great, powerful taste of grape. Grape sodas and grape flavoring is one of my favorites. I like those, yeah. Nine and a half out of 10 for these little punchers. It's definitely with the party in my mouth. So you got these guys. It's a little dad and it's son. Onion, fun onions. Funyuns. I'm not making that up. There's actually things called funyuns. Probably gonna be like that. So, that's what I'm gonna do. Is there anything else? See again, all Japanese. Great big balls. <laughs> big balls. Let's take two. Yeah. PG, Courtney, PG. Alright, so that's them. All cheesy and puffy and. Uh, uh.
great big cheese balls. I love them. Doesn't taste like onion whatsoever. Doesn't taste like onions. But I like it. I'll give it. Okay, so I'm gonna give that about. I'll give it about a seven out of ten. Let's get to the good stuff, the like sweetie looking stuff. I think that's what we'll do. And now we have a little strawberry. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Don't know what it is. Like I don't know what any of this stuff is, to be honest. So it has a little strawberry. Oh, there's little balls. <laughs> Four little balls. What more can you ask for? Just these little balls. Smell like strawberry. They're gonna be like chewies. Yep, chewies. Those are nice. Eight out of ten easily. It was a nice little. Woo! The strawberry. Very chewy. Let's go for the chocolate bar. It looks like a protein bar. It says Choka Chaka Bar Japan. Japanese chocolate bar. And that's all it says in English. It looks like a protein bar. It smells like a protein bar. Maybe it is a protein bar. Oh, it's got little Rice Krispies. Okay, I'm gonna enjoy this, I think. Yeah. I need to find these on the web. Anyone knows what these are? Please let me know. That's the best freaking bar I've had ever. It's like a cookie. Not like a chocolate chewy thing. It's like a cookie with chocolate on the outside. So that's what it looks like. It's like a cookie. Crumbly cookie. So bloody good. I want more. But I'm gonna save this for later. Cause that was probably the best. This is a 20 out of 10. Hands up. Don't care. 20 out of 10. It's off the scale. Off the scale. A nice little person singing. Do I cook these? This is cooking. I'm scared. Am I supposed to cook them? I don't know. Oh, this is like what you put on your salad. It looks like those little thingies that you put on your salads. See? Ooh. Oh, it doesn't taste like it though. It tastes like goldfish, then it doesn't, and then it tastes like something else, and then it tastes like goldfish again. I don't know if I like them. I'm so confused. What is it? Six out of ten. Whatever these things are. It's just mind-blowing what the heck that could even be. They look like the stuff you put on salads. They taste like three different things. Let's do this. This is another one that I'm so confused on what could be. Nothing in the packaging gives it away. Sound like little cracker thingies. Only way, one way to find out. Oh, the smell. I don't know what that smell is. It was... It's not it smell so bad. What is this? What is this? It's like little corn stuff. <laughs> I feel like they're corn crisp potato thingies. I don't know. Nope, two out of 10. Don't know what it is, I can't even describe it. We're getting there people, we're getting there. We got this little guy. And if he makes my tongue blue, I'm gonna be happy. Ooh, it's blue. Not a chocolate bar. It looks like gum. Is it gum? It's gum. Mm. Oh, my tongue's blue. Uh. Only bit half of it. There's a lot of salivating in my mouth. Seven out of 10. Next, this is packaging. Open this bad boy. It looks like a cookie. Ooh, it smells like a cookie. It smells like America. Oh, it looks like a cookie. Like fresh baked cookies. It's gonna be a cookie. This looks like something my mama made, but 10 times smaller. Okay, let's try it. Mm. That's a cookie. I'm sorry, I'm not even saving this for anyone else. This is for me. Mm -hmm. Fresh baked cookie. It was so soft and the perfect like amount of chocolate chips. So it wasn't like overload. It was like soft and textured and that was good. I'm giving that a 10 out of 10. That was a 10 out of 10. Well done. So good. Now, these are called Pandaros. 
Oh, it has a game on the back. Look, I like that. Mr. Panda, please don't be broken. I think he's broken. No, he's not. He's so cute. <gasps> no. He's broken. No ears broken. That's the wrong way. Oh, yeah. It's a biscuit. I mean, I it. Um, <laughs> it tastes like nice biscuits. Over here in England, we have a biscuit called nice biscuits. Nice biscuits. It tastes exactly like that. It's a bit thinner. Uh, this one's a bit thinner. This little guy is a lot thinner. And it's a lot more crumbly. But the taste is exactly like a nice biscuit. And it's very nice. So I'm going to give that. Yeah, I'll give it 8 out of 10. And finally, we're on the last one. Now this one intrigued me because it looks like a jam roly-poly but custard. Oh, this little friendly guy right there. Yeah. And it does feel like it's a pastry, so I'm looking forward to this one. Don't pop. We're tiny. It is exactly what it shows on there. It's custard. That's definitely custard. I know custard, and that's custard, and yeah, that's gone. It's gone. Do you even feel like I'm gonna have to? Because I need to. Savor it. See what it tastes like. Mm. That was delicious. It is custard. It's like a pancake. A really fluffy pancake. American style. Wrapped with the custard. That's 10 out of 10 again. I really enjoyed trying this snack. That is it. I am all out of Japanese snacks and to be honest I liked a lot of them there's probably like two that I hated thank you so much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed it and if you did please hit that big thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe down below and leave me a comment which one would you want to try out of any of these snacks which is something you would like to try and let me know if you want to see any other worldly snacks I love trying new things I like I said I'm not scared to try new foods because I'm not really a fussy eater. There's certain things I know I don't like, but I am always up for trying anything. So please leave any suggestions you might think of. And until next time, have a good one.